Hey guys, I'm doing Skeptic like here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday, and today I want to go over something for everyone that's new in IT, just new techs, IT support, desktop support, people that are trying to apply for a job in IT. Before I go into that, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, do desktop support videos, talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live, because I do go live and do hands-on training. So if you want to be involved in that and you want to get notified, hit the notification bell. Anyway. So this video is entirely up to, this video is more about what I made a post on. I made a post on LinkedIn that says, HR, please stop asking for three to five years of job experience. When someone is new to IT, they cannot get a job because they feel discouraged because of that. And I put that post right over here somewhere. So the lesson of that is I tell people that if, they're, if, it's, a, if it's a company that's asking for an entry level tech, help desk, IT support, anyone that's new to IT and they're trying to apply for a job that's, that's entry level and they're asking for a thousand years of experience, I tell them to apply anyway. Part of IT is that they're going to give you, they're going to ask for these crazy requirements, but at the end of the day, it's just a wish list. Some of these things you will not know. You're not, it's impossible for you to learn to know everything and the job requirement listed. It's impossible. That's impossible. Even me, I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. So you have to apply anyway. Apply to the job anyway. Give yourself a chance. Apply anyway. You have to be able to embrace rejection first in IT because you are going to get rejected a lot. You have no idea. Like when I was applying for my first job in IT, it took me like 500 tries before I could get a job in IT. So you have to apply everywhere and give yourself a chance. You have to embrace rejection. And as you're fail as you're failing in these job interviews, you got to know, oh, this is what I did wrong in this job interview. This is what I did that wrong in that job interview. And you're more prepared for the next interview. You're more prepared and you know how to answer those questions, those technical questions. Or those personality questions when you go to the next job interview. So part of part of um, being rejected in IT in a job interview is also it gives you the opportunity to learn what mistake you made as a person going to a job interview. So you have to learn how to embrace rejection because you are going to get rejected a lot. In IT, you're going to get rejected a lot. If you're new to IT, you're going to get rejected a lot. And a lot of it has to do with your resume. A lot of it has to do with the job interview. If you get a job interview, a lot of it has to do with what you know and stuff like that. So you have to be able to embrace rejection as a person in IT, girl, or girl or guy. You have to embrace rejection because at the end of the day, um, if you cannot have courage um, to actually go apply for the job, then you're not going to get a job. You have to keep applying everywhere. Don't give up so easily. Don't be discouraged. You get rejected by a job, it's totally fine. You're gonna have you're gonna have people that, that you feel like you have people that, that basically they look like they're gonna hire you, but then they don't hire you. And you get discouraged because of that. Don't get discouraged because of that. Go to the next job, go to the next role, embrace rejection. Let even though even though you got rejected, that means that job that job wasn't meant for you. Just go to the next job and apply to the next job, and that's it, and see what happens. You, you cannot be applying to two, three places. You got to apply everywhere and see what happens. The worst they could do is reject you as a person that's new to IT. And how do you get experience if you have no experience? That's like the other thing that annoys, that annoys everyone. How do you get experience when you have no experience? They're asking for three to five years of experience when you don't have actual IT experience. I tell people, make a lab at home. Uh, get certified with CompTIA Plus. If you, can't, you cannot afford CompTIA Plus, then do hands-on training. Build your own lab. Build your own virtual box. Get VM, do, do VMware, do something virtual and build your own lab at home and then showcase that on your resume by, by, by adding a YouTube video or something and link it together with your LinkedIn account and, and put your LinkedIn profile on your resume and they could see the projects that you're working on. You could also add that experience of things you learn in the lab by adding that to your resume. Those are, the, those are the proper ways, those are the things that I would do if I was new to IT today. I would basically make a video of myself going over a lab or a simulation of me installing VirtualBox on my local computer or me in, me working on Azure and installing Server 2016 or whatever like put something some sort of project work that you're doing right now to stand out as an individual in IT this is super important because right now the job market is crazy and you have to stand out as an individual so how do you do that you build a virtual lab at home and then you add those skills to your resume. On top of that, you could probably add a YouTube video or something in your LinkedIn profile as a project. And that's how you stand out as an individual. Also, you need to do practice interviews. Practice job interviews with your loved ones, with your family, with family, with anyone. Also, on top of that, I would add, I would add to that 
Um, if you want to get training, you know, people will go to Udemy, IT Pro TV. Some people get CompTIA Plus. You cannot afford that. They're hands-on training. Do, do whatever you can to get training so you could prepare for the job interview. And also, if no one is calling you, it's because your resume is not good. So make sure you have a good resume. Make sure you have a solid resume. Make sure your resume is has key words that HR is looking for, obviously. So those, are, those things are very, very important. But the point of this video is, is that you could get experience even if you have no experience by creating your own lab at home or by doing something separate to what you're doing besides reading a book, all right? And also, part of this video today is not giving up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself so easily. I hope I tell people to stay positive. I tell people not to give up. I tell people to apply everywhere and see what happens. The worst that could happen is that they reject you and that's it. They're asking for unrealistic goals. It's totally fine. Apply to the job anyway and see what happens. It's all entry level. Let's see what happens. You never know unless you try. That's what I tell people in IT that are new to IT. And that's it. I'm just trying to motivate you to apply. I know people that got a job with no experience. I know people that got a job with just CompTIA Plus. I know people that got a job with just a college degree. It's possible to get a job in IT. It's not impossible. It's possible. But you cannot give up on yourself so easy. Do not give up on yourself so easily. I won't give up on you. Don't give up on yourself, all right? Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope you guys have a great Saturday and a great weekend. All right? Take care. Peace. Later.